Just two days after Hamas militants launched their attacks on Israel, the Secretary General of the Arab League was received in Moscow by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who repeated Russia's prescription for lasting peace between Israelis and Palestinians. There is only one settlement of the Palestinian problem, that adopted at the United Nations, two states, Israel and Palestine. Russia has, for a long time, sought to strike a delicate balance in its relationships with Israel and with battling Palestinian leaders in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. That includes leaders of Iran-backed Hamas, whom the Russian foreign minister hosted in Moscow in September 2022, with full knowledge that it would strain relations with the Israelis. In breaking Russia's silence on the latest outbreak of fighting between Israel and Hamas, President Vladimir Putin did not miss the opportunity to blame Washington for the current bloodshed. This is a clear example of the failure of the policy of the United States in the Middle East, who tried to monopolize the solution, but unfortunately was unconcerned with finding compromises acceptable to both sides. U.S. officials on Wednesday had yet to comment on Putin's remarks. Beyond criticizing the U.S., observers say Russia is looking for opportunities to boost its influence in the Middle East. Russia has much more established links with Israel. I mean, let's not forget the nature of Israel's stance uh, on Ukraine war that has also generated uh, kind of much criticism in the West. On the other hand, the Russia does have long-standing access and relationship with Hamas uh, as well. But I think this is more of an engagement of convenience rather than an engagement of partnership. But it is Iran, a big supporter of Hamas and Hezbollah in Lebanon, and one of Moscow's priority partners that is the most problematic factor for the Kremlin. Russia's involvement actually means that the conflict in the Middle East is under the threat of escalation into a third world war with innumerable consequences. In such a situation, Moscow won't certainly take such a risk. Iran takes a very high risk. I think that is one of the scenarios to consider in case Hezbollah, i.e. Iran's military proxy, gets involved, an offensive to the north. With Moscow bogged down in its invasion of Ukraine, the new hostilities in the Middle East bring new questions not only for the Kremlin, but for global peace prospects. For the VOA Moscow Bureau, Luis Ramirez, VOA News. Mkuu wa chuo cha Kilimanjaro Institute of Technology and Management kilichopo Mwenge jijini Dar es Salaam na chenye thibati na usajili wa Nakvet number Reggie Mkwaju ANE Mkwaju 029 anapenda kuwatangazia nafasi za masomo kwa ngazi ya diploma na certificate kwa muhula wa masomo utakaoanza Oktoba 2023 katika kozi za IT business administration accountancy procurement and supply front office na hotel management chuo kimebobea katika ufundishaji kwa njia vitendo na kimeweza kutoa wanafunzi wenye weledi Wengi wamejiriwa ama kujiajiri Na kwa wale ambao wameamua kuendelea na degree Wameweza kujiunga na vyo viku bora panchini na nje ya nchi Pia kuna ofya kuzifupi za computer application Graphics and design Video production pamoja na CCTV camera Kwa melezo zaidi pige sim namba 0766-3486-52 Au 0717-6630-34 KITM Elimu na ujuzi kwa maendeleo ya uchumi